Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central and welcome to another gameplay hero analysis but with our own footage, hence why it's a little bit later than it is usually. It's also kind of annoying when you're trying to do one of these and everybody wants to play the new heroes that you want to go over. So this video is about Mei Ling, the defense hero and Miska has been playing her quite a lot since the new patch went live so we're going to talk to him and get his impressions on this hero. So just as I said, May is a defensive hero, but that doesn't really mean a lot, does it? Blizzard have always tried to break these trends of what a hero is defined as, so I was wondering, how does she play? So, May is a defense hero with support capabilities, I would say. I found out her main weakness is that she sometimes needs help with damage to finish heroes off. Freezing herself in a block of ice and healing up is great for opportunities like these, and when you generally just panic, but by the time you're out of your ice block again, there may be more heroes around than before. Mei's a lot of fun to play, actually. I've had some hilarious solo fights against tanks like Reinhardt, for example. Her main weapon works similar to Symmetra's, meaning that you need to stay on an enemy and run around them and make sure that you're dealing damage over time to finally freeze them. She's most effective when the enemy is distracted by something else, so you can walk up and freeze them without taking any damage. So let's take a look at another defensive hero, Junkrat. I mean, he's defined as a defensive hero, but really he has huge offensive capabilities. You've kind of touched on how she plays in different scenarios. So I was wondering how would she be on an attacking team? Is there any point of having her on your roster or is it just best left just for defensive duties? I'd say it's very difficult to play Mei when attacking, but it can sometimes work. The ultimate will make it worth the hassle if used correctly for sure. The ice wall as well can be used uh, offensively, but you need to keep your team well coordinated so they know when there's a safe window to jump on the objective or get around a choke point. Definitely, we've already seen some people try and troll the rest of his team with an ice wall in an inappropriate place. Yeah, that happens a lot actually. So we've had a couple of games, you've had some really good plays as May. What kind of tips and tricks would you recommend when playing her, if any? Is there some really sort of standout things that you should really know as a May that you should be keeping an eye out for? A lot of people use the melee attack to finish off a frozen enemy, and I found myself even doing this a bit. It's kind of a bad habit almost, at least sometimes, but lining up a headshot and using the endothermic blaster's right click fire mode for maximum damage is actually sometimes a safer bet, just because that good extra chunk of damage that you get from it. It's good to finish off those 250 plus HP heroes. But just make sure to not stress it, you might miss the shot and that will be devastating for you, because then you've completely wasted that frozen uh, enemy and that opportunity. So if you do, make sure to be quick on that shift button. I've also found that Mei can be a decent flanker actually, surprisingly even. If you spawn an ice wall that covers a lot of the enemy's line of sight, you can quickly run around a corner along the flank and come up behind and surprise a bastion that's set up or just a tank that needs to be taken out for your team to get on a control point, for example. Thanks, Miska. Decent information to bear in mind. Hopefully you've learned something about May today. And thank you for watching of What Central. And obligatory, be sure to subscribe for more Overwatch content as we have a cool Central combo coming up tomorrow an analysis on Genji probably on Thursday, and another top five on Friday. Until then, take care and we will see you next time.